Hey everyone. Oh, check one, two, check. There we go. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to the study site. I'm Sunny, and today we're going to continue on in our. Um, I'm monitoring down here, so I'm looking down here. <laughs> today we're going to continue on on our beginner flute series. So for those who are new to the channel, or those who are new to the website, or those who are, you know, just want to know what's going on, uh, I started. Um, teach music again um, for those who want to know uh, it's in the description box uh, there's a link to my music website which is the sunnyside music.com I've been a music uh, professional and a music teacher for years and years and years and I used to own the music studio in North Vancouver I recently moved back to uh, Eastern Canada and I'm spending half my time half the week in Toronto half the week in Montreal and I teach privately now in Toronto uh, and in Montreal I also teach on the internet over Google Hangouts and Skype if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Anyways, for more information, just check out the sunnysidemusic.com. All right, well, that's an interesting way to start the video. I'm going to do a little blah, blah, blah at the beginning. And then today, we're going to play through uh, uh, the Sound Innovations book. There are a number of beginner books that, um, or beginner method books that different schools used to, the different schools use. I taught kids in a number of school districts, and I've conducted elementary bands as well, and uh, as well as conducting adult bands, and I conducted a homeschool band. I, have a, <laughs> I did a lot of work in my past. Anyways, um, there are a number of books that students use or that band teachers give their kids to use, and there are a number of books that adults like to use when they're starting off. And Sound Innovations is one of the books. And I kind of I kind of like sound innovations. It was uh, brought to my attention a number of years ago, and I kind of liked it. And so today we're going to do the first ten exercises in sound innovations. These are all introductory exercises. So you know, once again, uh, for those who you know are new to the technology, I guess it's a video. So feel free to speed up the music, or fast forward the video, or pause whenever you have to pause to get a fingering or to you know slow down the music speed up the music whatever you want to do um, in addition to that let's make sure my mic is facing the right way <laughs> in addition to that you know make sure you have your sound innovation books open make sure you have a fingering chart there to help you along make sure you have a pencil I'm gonna grab my pencil right here and uh, it's it's cool if you want to scribble all over your music back when I was in music school uh, my band teacher used to make me carry a couple of music schools. I started a lot of music. <laughs> they, they, at almost everywhere I went, they made you carry a music pencil, it's not a, a pencil, and a music dictionary uh, at all times. And it was part of the training. And you know, I'm used to it. I kind of like it. And even professionally, uh, as a studio musician and as a session musician, I'm called to, or a cutting musician, I'm called to to fill in for a lot of guys when they're sick. And when I go in to fill in for people, I'm looking at, you know, I'm reading other people's music for the night and I look at it and it's got all these markings all over it for what the guy's um, looking through. So, you know, it's all cool to, to check out, you know, to scribble on your music, it's all cool. Anyways, today we're looking at flute sound innovations. I guess we're gonna need a flute. Is this a flute? You sure? <laughs> Oh, that's not so much a flute. What about this? Is this a flute? Oh, oh well, I teach a lot of kids. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's rock it up. We got a flute. Just to let everyone know, this flute was donated to the to my studio from Karen Zinsky in, in uh, Seattle. She bought a couple of flutes from my studio, and I absolutely love this flute. It was on my Amazon dot com wish list and there'll be there's a link to that in the description box below oh please support the channel please support these music lessons please donate to the channel please share the videos with everyone uh, that you know who's starting flute I'm making them for flute saxophone flute clarinet recorder ukulele a lot of beginner instruments here and um, you know they're on the website the sunnyside music dot com please share the videos please give it a, boop, a thumbs up if you want private music lessons just contact me if you're in Toronto or Montreal or if you want to study with me over the internet. Anyways, Karen bought me this flute and I absolutely love it. I absolutely I love it. Alright, whatever. Let's get down to it. Alright. 
Now, before we begin, uh-oh, uh-oh, before we begin, I'm just going to show you guys a little blah, blah, a little more blah, blah, and then we'll get down to it. A lot of these, a lot of the times I shoot these videos live. So over here, see where the cursor is? Over here, the chat would be there live. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But um, but today I'm going to shoot these uh, as a video. Just to let you guys know. All right, what's going on here? Let's go pull up the music and see how it's working. Oh, before we get to the music, this is the website here. The sunnysidemusic.com. This is me. This is some of my stuff. This is an, a little bit... I have to update it. This, we have over 50,000 subs now on YouTube. Some of the places I've studied, some of my awards, blah, blah, blah. Some of the newspapers I've been featured in, blah, blah, blah. And these are the flute lessons here. We've done accent, and they're all here under flute lessons. Let's see, check it out. We have accent on achievement, standard of excellence, essential elements. Today we're going to do uh, sound innovation. All right, it's also a video fast forward if you like. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of what's going on. So this is where you go to get the um, to contact me for clarinet lessons, flute lessons, uh, private lessons, recorder lessons. Some of my saxophone videos are here, ukulele lessons. I guess I should put saxophone lessons up here somewhere. <laughs> it's a, anyways, to let you guys know, I'm also an RCM, a Royal Conservatory of Music teacher, and I've taught kids from all over the world and adults from all over the world, uh, uh, you know. And... Um, so after I finish the beginner books or the band methods that most of the people will be using at school, I'll be recording the conservatory exam music and putting it on the channel because uh, one of the things that I had difficulty finding, or, and I still do, is uh, examples of the play along examples of the exam music for the conservatory grades for the kids, so or the adults whoever wants to take exams. So look for that coming up. Conservatory music is gonna that'll be up here soon. And if you need help with your theory lessons, then I'll help you with that. In addition to that, I'm also a, a master hypnotist. And I'm a very popular hypnotist, hypnotherapist. And um, I'm also a, an astrologer. I write horoscopes for the newspapers up here in Canada. And this is my other website, the sunnyside.net. And this is where you want to go if you want to find out that stuff. Some of my TV interviews are on here and different stuff. Uh, finally, our website, if you want to hang uh, the website, it's the astroside.com is where you go to get the cool sunny side gear. And this is where you get your sunny side hoodies and different sunny side 2.0 t-shirts. This is for the next generation sunny siders. It's really cute. Sunny side 2.0. I think it's really cute. And I'll see action. All right, everybody cool? All right, next. So let's get down to work. Thanks for, indul thanks for indulging me. I super appreciate it. It's a lot of blah, blah, blah at the beginning. Next, let's head over and tune our flutes. You'll find that the flutes change. When the band instruments change temperature, the tuning is going to change quite dramatically. So you just want to warm your flute up a little bit before you tune it. So I've warmed this one up a little bit. Let's see how close we get. That's pretty good. All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's get on to some music here. Sound, sound, sound innovations. Let's do it. Oh, this is my little Sunny Sider here. He's a little sax player. It's, I got him a. It's obviously my son. I got him a really cool red saxophone, and this is his Sunny Side hoodie that he's wearing. Once again, lessons are in Toronto and Montreal, Canada. All right, let's pull up the band and let's rock. Sound innovations. This is the book right here, number one. I like I always like sound innovations. Here we go, nice and easy peasy. Oops. <laughs> oh, look at that, nice and big. So this one should be easy. This note, the first note is D, and you don't have to memorize anything yet. And I do have a lot of exercises that we can look at later that we're going to look at later on in uh, other videos about learning how to read music. Today, it's about sound. It's all introductory exercises. So sound innovations, number one, the first note is D. And D is on the line right there. The second line from the top. 
and D is open, closed, 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 and the thumb in the back. When I play the thumb in the back, I put my thumb between these two guys right here. Like on the left, it's going to be B flat, and on the right, it's going to be B natural. We don't need those notes for today. But because of the way I play music, I rock back and forth a lot, so I put it right there in between. Now, this note in the woodwinds, we skip the first, we skip the first one, play the second one, then we skip this one, and it's two, three. That's one, two, three, thumb, and one, two, three in the right hand. But this note, the first key is open. So it's two, three, one, two, three, and the thumb. Everybody cool with that? All right, give it a blow and see if you can play that note. Not bad, I got it. Okay, we got it. Find the note. Sometimes you might be going, you know, so you gotta take a moment, find the note. Find the note. You know, on the flute, we're always finding the note. Some days our lips are strong, some days they're not. We've got to find the notes. Some days our shoulders are sore, some our neck is sore. So we've got to always rotate and find the note. Also, make sure your instrument's working. There's nothing worse than having to fight the instrument. It's, these are really, uh, it's, they're finely uh, machined instruments. And sometimes a screw um, will just loosen a little bit and you'll have a leak of air and you're not going to be able to play any notes and you're going to wonder what's going on. So just make sure that your instrument's working properly, uh, that everything is closing the way it should close. In addition to that, sometimes they close when they're cold, but when they open up, uh, but when the instrument warms up, and you'll find after blowing through, it'll warm up, it, it expands. And when it expands, first, the tuning changes. And second, it might expand and not close. So, or it might shrink. It might be really cold on stage. It's usually really hot on stage under the lights. Say you're playing outside and it gets really cold. And so uh, it's going to expand and contract. Uh, it's going to shrink and get bigger. And so it's going it, to, they might not seal. Just make sure you're, it's all, everything works on your instrument because there's nothing worse than fighting an instrument. All right, back to the music here. So you're going to play D for four beats. Then you're going to rest. You're going to breathe for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to play D, and rest four, and then D. Is that cool? All right, let's play it once just like this. All right, squeeze the lips together and blow. Don't blow too hard. If you blow too hard, you're going to like... <laughs> okay, so don't blow too hard. Just blow. And then find out. So first one, D. Rest. Then D, rest, and then D again. Everybody cool? All right, let's rock. Okay, let's get back to it. All right, now let's try it without the scribbling on the page. Well, on our page here. So D. Rest, then D. Rest, and then D again. All right, no problem. We should be able to do this. Just remember, as you're playing music, it's important to try and memorize the music as quickly as possible because, you know, the sooner you memorize it, the sooner you'll just be singing it out instead of reading it. Okay, here we go. You ready to try with the band? Are you sure? Oh. I don't know, Sonny. <laughs> okay. okay, let's give it a shot with the band. And just a reminder, if you want private lessons, if you need private instruction, a little more help on making the sound or on the music, the fingering or posture, or help with your exams coming up, or if you need help getting into university or something, then feel free to contact me at the sunnysidemusic.com or to uh, you know just reach out to me in Toronto and Montreal uh, for live lessons or online over the internet. Okay, here we go. So for those who are new, we play most of the exercises three times. Oh, oh, oh!
<laughs> oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay, hold on. I wasn't ready. Oh, man, can you imagine that? Oh, the conductor would... Hey, Sonny, you feel like playing with the band today? Maybe. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a shot. <clears throat> D, two, three, one, two, three in the thumb. pretty good I'm pleased with myself when I caught up yeah 100% not bad all right let's speed it up everybody cool now here's something playing it by yourself is not such a big deal sometimes playing with a metronome or counting it in a metronome goes click 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 that makes it a little more difficult playing with the band it's even more it's a lot to, to it's a lot to process in the brain at the beginning but just give it a shot do your best slow the video down if you need to slow it down, just think about making a nice sound. And you'll get the hang of it. It just takes a little practice. Here we go. Next, next, a little faster. Easy peasy? Yeah, music is easy. All right, here we go. A little faster. <clears throat> Let's see if we can memorize it. D, rest, D, rest, D. All right, we could do that. Okay, we could do that. Okay, here we go. When you breathe, make sure you breathe out first. <sighs> Nice! Yeah, so like I was saying, make sure you breathe out first. When you're breathing, uh, we breathe for a couple of reasons. One, we breathe for the instrument, so we need air. And so if you're out of air, you can't play the instrument. The other reason we breathe is we breathe for oxygen. <laughs> we breathe for ourselves and we breathe for the flute. So there are a lot of times when you're playing along and you have lots of air in your lungs, but you don't have any oxygen left. So you're like, you're like, you're like oh, there's nothing in you. So what happens is because there's air is filled, you'll breathe in, but your, ears are, your lungs are already filled with air. So no oxygen's coming in. And so you're going to go from playing a long phrase to shorter and shorter phrases. So what you have to do is, it's like swimming. You have to make sure you breathe out before you breathe in. Get, make sure your lungs are empty and then breathe in. And that's more of a problem on an instrument like the clarinet or the saxophone. But on flute, it can be a problem too. Just make sure the lungs are empty before you breathe in. So, everybody cool? All right, we'll talk about more, a little bit more of that later as we go along. All right, number three, our second note. How do we get to number three? <laughs> All right, we're on number three. Okay, so we're on number three. Okay, here we go. This note is C. C is easy as well, very easy. It should be the easiest note on the flute to play, but the problem is, jumping back and forth, you might actually drop your flute. So be very, so be careful about it. All right. Now C is in this space right here. Again, it's a little tricky to keep track of where you are on the, on the staff. This is called the staff here. It's trip difficult to keep this place where, but we'll get, you'll get used to it. Now C is easy. It's one of the first notes we learned. C is one finger, open, open, no thumb. 
then open, 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 and the baby finger. This baby finger here is a key that we play on almost every note. <clears throat> the reason we play it is because it's how we hold the flute. We hold it with the baby finger. And imagine, if the, so sometimes when people are putting the flute together, they might put that key up like that. That's no good. You're not going to be able to hold, reach the baby, you know, you're not going to be able to reach it. This finger is shorter than the other finger. Some people put it like this. That's a little weird, man, because again, you can't reach it. Just put it in line like that, making the bar move between the keys so that you can play that. Because you have to be able to hold this key down for almost every note. So you can hold your flute like this. Or C, which is first finger. So skip. And that C. Now notice we're not holding the flute like this, right? There's no death grip with the flute. It's like this. All right, so nice and relaxed, nice and chill. Nice and chill. So, you know, once again, so, okay, so that's C. First finger, oh, everything open, baby finger, and no thumb in the back. Let's give that one a shot. The sound should be pretty easy to come out. So this song, everybody with me so far? I got a little, little spazzy there for a second describing everything. Anyways, the baby finger is down for almost all notes on the flute because it's how we hold the flute. It's up for D, up for D, but for almost every other note, especially C, it's down. Okay, here we go. Number three, sound innovations. So it's C, then rest, 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 rest. This is called a whole rest. And a whole rest is four beats. See how it's, it's, it's a, a whole rest, it's big. It's heavier than the other rest, so it kind of hangs down from the line. All right, cool, enough. <laughs> so C, rest, C, rest, C. No problemo, everybody cool? Let's try it once again. Okay, C, first finger, baby finger. Find the note, you might have to twist it around a little bit, shake your arms. Rest. Rest, breathe out, breathe in. Everybody cool? Everybody's cool. This is easy, man. This is facile. Even a musician can do it. <laughs> I don't know about all music. Yeah, a musician can do it. Okay, so have a look at this one. Same thing. You know, give it a shot. Let's play without anything without anything first. No no writing on the page, no music. It's just C. First finger, baby finger. Rest. 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 All right, give it a shot. Pause the video, give it a shot, practice it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, breathe. Sound innovations number three, flute. C, first finger. Yeah, man. I think that's cool. Not bad. Okay, here we go. A little faster. Everybody cool? Any questions? 
<laughs> Here we go. A little faster. Breathe. Sit up straight. Relax. All right, here we go. C, first finger. lips get tired blow them out what it's all right we'll play it a little faster here we go a little faster remember you can slow down the video or you can speed it up if you like C <clears throat> Nice! Oh, don't scream nice at the end of every song, especially on stage. Unless you play really well. <laughs> Alright, that's number three. Next. Sound Innovations number four. Two notes. Alright, let's look at this one for a second here. So, this is going to oscillate or move back and forth between two notes. The first note, D, and the second note, C. And it's gonna, there's going to be a rest in the middle. So the first is D. And D, C, D is on the line, and D is open, closed, closed, thumb, close, close, close. Then we're going to rest, 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 and C. And C is closed, open, open, no thumb, open, 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 and the baby finger. Then it's rest, 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 D. Rest, 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 rest. C, D. There's a lot of music in this particular one. This is number four, Sound Innovations. And so, let's just take a moment, breathe. Let's try it, you know, let's see if we can do There's a lot of music in here. And D is everything, like everything is closed, except for the first finger. And then C, it's just the first finger, so make sure you don't drop your flute. C to D, ah, it's, it's close, it's open to close. It's a lot of jumping around on the flute, so it's gonna take a bit to get used to. So the first one is D. Then it's rest, rest, rest. Then C. Rest, 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 rest. Then D. Rest, 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 rest. Then C. Rest, 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 rest. And then back to D. Everybody got that? Okay, try it once by yourself. You know, pause the video, try it by yourself. It's tricky. It can be tricky. And, oh. Oh, I can't open my water. Oh. Oh no, I'm spilling water and everything. Hold on a sec. I think I should pause the video. <laughs> yes, honey, you should pause the video. <laughs> yes, honey, you should pause the video. What? <laughs> oh, Talking Lama says I should pause this. Talking Lama says I should pause the video. <laughs> okay. Singers, sheesh. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, let's take it from Let's take it without the band. Uh, w okay. Let's play it once without all the scribbling on it now. So D rest C rest D rest C rest D. All right, try and memorize it. So it's D to C D C D.
See that? My lips are blowing all over the place. Are you guys ready to give it a shot? Wow, they play this one fast. Look at that 80. All right, let's slow it down. Here we go. There's a lot of music on this page. Try and keep, try and keep up. Just do your best. D. Rest. C. Rest. D. Everybody cool? D C D What? <laughs> D C D C D. Alright. It's tricky. Let's try it again. <clears throat> A little faster. Okay, gonna focus and breathe. My lips are all over the place today. I gotta warm up a little more. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> let's do it. Remember, okay, let's do it. Excuse me. Oh, remember to like the video, tell your friends, share the video, and you know, keep practicing. Here we go, last time. Sit up straight, a little faster, relax the lips. Oh man, let's try it again. Here we go. <clears throat> Rest. C. Sound innovations. Do 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 do. Number five. Numero sync. Oh, new note. Here we go. This note they didn't play. I don't think they played this note in the other book yet. Okay. So check this out. This is gonna get. The flute gets a little handsy at the beginning. It's actually the flute's one of the fastest instruments in the orchestra, but at the beginning it's a little tricky. And um, this note is B. Cool. That's right. When you see this note, everybody's got to be cool. Sunny, that's not what it means. Sunny, <laughs> that's not what it means, Sunny. That note's not be cool. Be cool is... You, you wouldn't know what be cool is. What do you mean I wouldn't know what be cool is? That note's not be cool is be flat. Okay. <laughs> There's always one in every crowd. There's always a unicorn waiting. Okay, enough. Let's try it again. Okay. So she's right, it's not B cool. This note right here <clears throat> is B flat. Now notice this, in when we're notating with the symbols, we put the flat or the sharp, called the accidental, 
before the note so that you can see it. It's called an accidental. It changes the note. And so it's, we put it before the note so we can see to change the note, especially when we're reading quickly. But when we're saying it in letters, it comes afterwards, just like we say it. B flat. Everybody cool? All right. This is important because this is on your theory test. All right, this is not a theory test, Sonny. All right. Okay, so anyways, let's get back to it. So B flat, it's first finger, thumb, open, open, first finger, open, open, and the baby finger. So it's one, one, and the thumb. So B flat is one and one, one and one, and the thumbs in the back. It's a good note. All right, give it a shot. So the three B flats. B flat, rest, 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 rest. B flat, rest, 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 rest. And B, cool. B flat. <laughs> Everybody cool? <clears throat> Let's try once more. One and one, B flat, three of them. All right, feel free to pause the video if you have to. Okay, now one and one. Let's play without the band. One and one and the thumb. Nice. Nice, no problem. B flat's easy peasy. So it's sound innovations number five. B flat one, one. And of course, baby finger and thumb. Here we go, big breath. Faster. <laughs> Relax the lips, stretch the neck. Ooh. Ooh. I one of my students at my old music studio, she brought in, she drew me a picture from my studio wall of the unitato, half unicorn, half potato. Her name's Ava, and she, uh, she's, she's probably it's close to university now, <laughs> but Ava was an amazing clarinet player. She and I used to have to, we used to stretch our necks and our hands and our backs uh, before we used to play. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> Ava and her sister Paige, <laughs> they're great musicians. Okay, B flat. <laughs> Once more, a little faster. Right away, <clears throat> B flat. Sound Innovations number five. Good job, Sonny. Thanks, man. All right, next. Sound Innovations number six. 
Whoa, let's take a moment and scribble out some notes on this one. Sound innovation exercises are long. <clears throat> so this one has that little guy right in the front. So this is B flat and rest, 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 rest. Then it's going to go up to C. See that? It's on the line. And then it goes and go into the space. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then rest, 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 rest. And then up once more to D. Then rest, 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 rest. Then it's going to go down. It's going to descend to C. And then descend once more to B flat. And once again, B flat is one open, open. It's one and one. Baby finger, thumb. Don't drop your flute on this one. It's tricky. Then rest. Then C, so B flat is, oops, 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 <laughs> B flat, then C is one, open, 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 baby finger, no thumb, D is open, closed, closed, thumb, closed, 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 and that's it. All right, let's give this one a shot. This is going to be tricky. This is an this is an exercise, a three note combo one. You're gonna to want to play for a while because remember when um, <clears throat> you go back to some of the earlier videos that I made uh, about getting to learn your instrument. This is working right through the middle of the flute, and you have to just understand how your instrument works. You know, just hold it, get used to it, try not to drop it, get used to making some notes. And these three notes are the core of the flute, and so you kind of have to get used to doing it. So don't rush through this part. Play it a couple of times, you know, B flat, C, D. B flat C D C B flat B flat C D C B flat the shape remember so we're gonna start looking at musical words the shape B flat C D C B flat so we're gonna replay the phrase Let's see if we can memorize it as quickly as possible as well B flat C D B flat C D C B flat okay, let's try it once without the music <coughs> able to do it I'm playing pretty quick today for I'm playing pretty quick <laughs> give it a shot speed up the video slow it down check out the sunnysidemusic.com website for more fun stuff check out the sunnyside.net for other stuff please subscribe to my channel on YouTube please follow along on Twitch and uh, please donate to the channel in the description box using PayPal right every little bit helps and uh, helps me create more of these musics for fun and it helps support the studio okay so so <clears throat> right here we go everybody cool everybody ready to gig this one everybody ready to rock it okay breathe sit up straight here we go b flat c d c b flat
but stop saying yeah. <laughs> stop celebrating on stage. It's not a competition. Unless you're in a competition. Unless you're in a music competition. It's not a competition. Okay, breathe. Here we go. Speed it up. Everybody ready? Okay, how'd you do? Everybody cool? Any questions? Everybody got it under control? Sit up straight. Breathe. <laughs> Relax the lips. Stretch the neck. Ugh. Uh, memorize the song B flat ascending to D and then down to B flat here we go let's rock a little faster B flat one and one playing the flute. I just love it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Last time. Faster. Relax the lips. Here we go. B flat, C to D. <laughs> I get so excited. I, I love it. Next. Number seven. Okay, this is moving in the opposite direction. Hey, just to let you guys know, I just got a message for one of, uh, from the mom of one of my old students in Vancouver. His name is Van Zan. I can't pronounce his mom's name. I think it's Ilriako. And... His family's really cool. His brother's really nice. His dad's really nice. And Van Zan used to study with me at, at my music studio in North Vancouver. And he just got, I just got a message from his mom, uh, which is a message from his band teacher over in West Vancouver. And he just received 100% on the clarinet uh, in band this semester. 100%. Whoa, that's like all the notes. <laughs> I'm super proud. Anyways, Van Zandt, I'm super proud of you. You were always talented. And, um, I mean, you were just talented. I'm super proud of you. Congratulations. And, uh, you know, I wish you the best in everything you do. Man, my students are the best. It's just flat out the best. I remember Mason won the big All-Star Band Award two years ago when I was, uh, when I owned my studio and I was helping him. He won the All-Star Band Award. Another... I think he also won the Kiwanis Outstanding Soloist Award. Uh, Georgia, as a flute student, won a bunch of uh, conservatory awards. Uh, oh, my students are just the best. <laughs> so I'm super proud of all of them. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's analyze the chart before we play. Ellen, young Ellen, who's not so young anymore, she played saxophone, she played guitar, and she sang. And she... Uh, she, uh, she was one of the youngest students to be um, in the honor band in North Vancouver. You know, she had some major accomplishments there. Some of my students did really well. Okay, here we, here we go. Most of my students did quite well. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Now we're on a different journey. Do, do, do. Ornella did extremely well. And um, they all did well. Okay, D, then down to C. And rest, 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 rest. B flat. Oops, oops. Wrong direction, Sonny. I see it. B flat ascending to C. Rest, 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 rest. Then C is going to ascend to D. Everybody cool? So. Okay, here we go. Do, do, do. D is open. Close, close. Close, 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 and the thumb. Then C is first finger. That's it. Baby finger. 
B flat is one and one. So we're going to start on D, then descend or go down to B flat, B to D, C, B flat, then up to D. All right, so D. Try not to drop your flute on this one. Rest, rest, rest to C. Rest, 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 B flat. Rest, rest, rest. Then we're going to go up, C. Then D. So it's... Make sure you get a good note, you know, find it. Nice. All right, give it a shot. Pause the video if you have to. This is number seven from Sound Innovations. I like this book, Sound Innovations, pretty cool. Okay, now we're gonna try it without the writing on the page. Well, on my page anyways. So, once again, D, try and memorize it. D, C, B flat, C, D. D, C, B flat, C, D. We read the shapes of music, right? We're musical words. We, we're not going to play the notes. That's spelling music. We're going to play the shapes. If you play the shapes, and if you mess up a note, it's okay. You know, it's okay. You know, we mess up notes all the time. We squeak notes, we flub notes, we bite our tongue, we bite... Mm, and lots of things can happen playing music. So, don't worry about it, but we play the shape. So if you always play the shape, then you're going to, you know, you, you won't, first you won't get lost. You'll always keep your place in the music, and everything's going to be good. It's a lot easier. Okay, so D, C, B flat, C, D. All right, here we go, three times. Breathe, D. <clears throat> Everybody cool? All right, remember, if you need any help, I teach privately in person in Toronto and Montreal, and I teach lessons online on the internet if you need a little bit of help. All right, a little bit faster, here we go. <laughs> Relax the lips, sit up straight. <clears throat> Number seven, sound innovations. Slow it down if you have to, speed it up if you have to. You know, share it with your friends, play along with your friends, tell your band teacher, Donate to the channel using PayPal, subscribe to the channel, and have fun, let's rock. Number seven, sound innovations. <clears throat> D. Rest. C. Rest. B flat. Okay. 
Okay, last time, a little faster. Now guys, I know this just looks like an exercise here, but there's a, uh, there's a rule. There's only one rule in music. Always play pretty music. So it doesn't matter if it's a scale, if it's an arpeggio, or some kind of study, or some kind of whatever you're doing. Always try and play whatever you're playing like a song. And they said, um, we practice as we play, play as we practice. And that's, um, practice as you play, play as you practice. That's why we're practicing with the rhythm second, with the rhythm here, with the band, because this is how we're going to perform it, with the band. Practice as you play, play as you practice. So even though it's an exercise, play it like it's music. Even if you're playing a scale, play your scale like it's music. <laughs> scale play everything like it's music it's like that's it you know dig your instrument you know I really like this flute I'm really happy that Karen donated these to the she's a sunny cider <laughs> sunny, she's the sunny cider she plays flute in Seattle and she bought a couple of flutes for the studio I really really appreciate it I like it okay just treat your instruments well and you know enjoy it okay let's rock it one more okay nice and fast Everybody ready? Sit up straight. Wave at the audience. <laughs> okay. Here we go. D. All right, number eight, here we go. All right, now this one is a little different. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna spend a couple of minutes on this one. So this is just C up to D, down to C, and then down once more to B flat. And the notes are C, it's one, open, open, no thumb, open 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 and the baby finger that's C D is open thumb two three one two three and did you guys hear the magic sound we have someone subscribing to the channel <laughs> and then then it's gonna descend to C which is one finger open 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 no thumb, baby finger, and then B flat, which is one and one. Everybody cool? Now here's the, th the deal. We're going to mix it up. So this is first, we're going to play. Solo means by yourself. So you're going to play, and then we're going to rest. Then the band is going to play. Then you're going to play, and then the band is going to play. Then you're going to play, and then the band is going to play. Then you're going to play, and then the band is going to play. Everybody cool? Let's just try that. Or no. We're going to do two ways. First, we're going to play the solo, and then we're going to play the band part. Okay, first up, let's try the solo. So first you're going to play C. Then the band is going to play C. Then you're going to play D. Then the band is going to play D. Then you're going to come descend, go down. You're going to play C. Then the band is going to play C. And then you're going to go descend one more and play B flat. Then the band is going to play B flat. Everybody got it? Okay, so we're going to start on C, go up to D, 
and then down to B flat. C, D, C, B flat. Oh, excuse me. You're going to play, then the band is going to play, then you're going to play, then the band is going to play. Back and forth. Let's give it a shot. Not too fast. This is actually pretty easy, seriously. <laughs> so, same tempos, start at 60. So let's have a look at it before we do anything. All right, so C, then band, D, band, C, band. So it's... Okay, everybody got that? Pause the video if, if, if you have to pause it. It's cool, nice and chill. Okay, breathe, out, and then in. Here we go. C. Band. D. Band. C. Nice. All right, a little faster. This reminds me of my uh, clarinet student, Olivia, who was so good. <laughs> she, she was so good at clarinet. She made the senior orchestra in her first year in high school on clarinet. Oh, she was amazing. And then she was so good, she started playing flute. A number of my students started playing uh, who a number of the flute students started playing clarinet as well and a number of the clarinet students started playing flute most of my many of my students uh, played both instruments and um, a number of students studied piano as well really really good like Wendy was Wendy was studying grade 8 in the conservatory on flute with me a really high grade on, no, on, on clarinet and then she was also doing her grade 10 on piano and uh, I'm giving you a lot of clarinet story students, but I had tons of flute students as well, tons of flute stories. Yeah. All right, here we go. Next, a little faster. C, D, C, B flat. C. <clears throat> Here we go. C, D, C, B flat. Do you have it memorized? The shape. C, then up to D, ascend to D, and then down. C, B flat. Okay, breathe. Here we go. C. Cool. Now we're going to do the entire thing, but we're going to play the band part. See this? We're going to play the band part. So it's going to go rest, 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 four beats rest, and then we're going to play the band. So just check it out once. I'll play it for you once, and then we'll do it together. Well, I'm going to play it three times, I guess. So it's going to be the soloist first, rest, and then we're going to play the band part. Then rest. Now 
grass. Rest. Then soloist, we rest. And then. Everybody got it? All right, let's fire it up. Here we go. Breathe. Out. And then in. Okay, let's rock this chart. The band part. C, D. CD. <clears throat> One, two. Rest. D. Rest. C. Rest. B flat. Okay, we're gonna go faster, same thing faster, playing the band part. <clears throat> Here we go. Rest, rest, C. Rest, D. Hey, when you slow the video down, do I sound like I'm saying V flat? <laughs> All right, here we go. Once more, it's the fastest we're going to play today so far. We're going to take it at 90 beats a minute. Okay, here we go. So that means it's going to click 90 times. Click, 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 click. One, two, three, four in a minute. Here we go. <clears throat> C, rest. Rest, two. Rest, D. Rest, C. Rest, B flat. Nice. Hey, you guys are pretty good. The band's pretty good, man. <laughs> okay, the band's pretty good. All right. And finally, last one. This is the last one for today. Okay, name each note before you play. <laughs> you don't have to name your note before you play. Let's just look at it. <clears throat> so these guys are breath marks. These commas, they mean to breathe. So mean when you get here, make sure you breathe out before you breathe in. <sighs> There are a number of reasons to breathe in the music when there's a breath mark, even if you don't have to breathe. You should breathe. One, because you don't know what's going to happen later on in the music and you might actually need to breathe. And second, it's going to cause, uh, create, not cause, it's going to create space in the music and generally it's going to sound better. It can also be a phrase marking. These guys are often at the end of lines that go like this in music. And so, you know, the, the composer probably wants a little bit of a break there. So, you know, as much as we'd like to, you know, we're the soloists and we're the ones standing there looking good and everything. So, you know, you got to play the guy's song. <laughs> and if he wants you to breathe there, you feel like, oh, okay, man, I'll breathe in your song. All right, so there we go. So this one is D, D, then it's going to descend or go down to C, C, then down once more to B flat, B flat. You guys can memorize that, seriously. This is number nine, sound innovations. So D, once again, is open, thumb, close, 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 close. D, C is one, open, open, thumb, open, 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 baby finger. And B flat is one and one. One, one, and the thumbs. Everybody cool? This is the easiest one so far. See, this breathing's a little tricky. <laughs> so D, breathe, breathe C, breathe 
and B flat. Easiest one so far. All right, give it a shot. Pause the video if you have to pause the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel as you're pausing the video. Remember to donate to the channel. Remember to, uh, if you want lessons privately, if you want me to check out how you're doing, then just go to the sunnysidemusic.com. I'll gladly help you out. Okay, and that's the action. And support the channel by donating with PayPal in the description box. All right, D, 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 C, C, B flat, B flat. D, D, C, C, B flat, B flat. Okay, before we add the band, we'll just play through it once. You don't have to play it that fast. <laughs> okay. Not yet. But we are going to go fast on this one. Once again, you can slow it down if you want. We're going to try this one pretty quick. This is pretty easy. All right, everybody ready? D, C, B flat. Reading musical shapes. We read, we play shapes, musical words and phrases. Okay, here we go. Instruments up. Two, D. Bummer, I messed it up. <laughs> oh. Everybody cool? I'm cool. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Sonny, you should pay attention when you play this thing. What? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yes, yeah, Sonny. You should... Okay, 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 okay. So... <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We all, everybody squeaks. Everybody gets fumble fingers. A little faster. Okay, breathe. Let's do it. Out and then in. D. Last time for today. We're going to end on an easy one. <sighs> Alright, everybody cool? Here we go. Once more. Not bad. I wonder if there's one more that we can do. Sure, why not? We'll do number 10. It's a similar thing in an opposite direction. It's a little trickier, actually. Okay. One more exercise for today, and then we'll call it a day. This one is B flat. And then we breathe, and it plays B flat again. Then we ascend to C, and then C, then ascend to D, and then it's tricky. From D, it's going to drop all the way down to B flat. Do you guys see that one? This is a little tricky, so be cool. You know, so, you know, we, so far it's been pretty easy. Just be cool with this one. So B flat is one and one, baby finger and thumb. There's two of them. And then C, which is one. Open, 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 open. And the baby finger, no thumb. D is open. Everything else. And then all the way down to B flat, which is one and one again.
Let's try. This one's a little tricky. Sing the notes. What? Mm -hmm. B flat, B flat, C, C, D, B flat. What is this? Some kind of music torture? B flat, B flat, C, C, D, B flat. All right, try and play it. Pause the video, get it under the fingers, sing it again. B flat, B flat, C, C, D, B flat. This one's a little, this one's a little tricky. All right, now try and play it without the, you know, without the music. Let's just try, <clears throat> try and play it by ourselves for a second. No rest, right? This is a long song. Sound of Innovation looks easy, but it's a tough book. It's tough on the lips. It's tough on the hands and shoulders. It's tough. This is so. This book is a lot tougher than it looks. More difficult. It's not really difficult. It's tough on the body. Okay, pause if you have to pause through it. All right, let's rock. <laughs> Last song for today. Remember, if you want private lessons, check me out at the sunnysidemusic.com and support uh, or for live lessons in Toronto and Montreal Canada or um, online on the internet uh, over Google Hangouts and um, that's it please support the channel with the by donating in PayPal and um, please subscribe to the channel and tell your friends All right here we go B flat <sighs> Yeah! Good job! All right, faster! It feels good to do a good job. Okay, here we go. A, a little faster. B flat. Try and memorize it. time it's our last song for today okay so relax remember to always play pretty music even though it's an exercise try and play it like a song you know don't fight you make sure your instrument is working make sure nothing's leaking don't fight your instrument make sure your lips feel good make sure you're, you know you're nice and relaxed and just be cool and invite your friends to play along with you I'm playing through a bunch of the beginner books here. So, you know, check out some of the other videos and have a lot of fun. And that's the action. Let's do it. Last time. B flat. job guys that was a lot of fun hey once again that's my little sunny sider right there <laughs> this is he's wearing his sunny side his black sunny side hoodie and um, 
This is my son. He's a little sax player. And that's the action. Just show you guys a couple of things before we take off here. Just to remind you, this is the tuner. Here you got to tune your instruments. This is the astroside.com where you get your cool sunny side, uh, sunny side hoodies and t-shirts and cups and mugs and stuff. Do 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 sunny side 2.0. It's the next generation sunny siders and some fun, you know, Aquarius mugs. A lot of astrology stuff here. I have an astrology channel as well. I'll show it to you guys right now. So this is it. It's the sunny side because I write horoscopes for the newspapers and stuff. And so um, I also have a YouTube channel that does a lot of astrology stuff on it. I'm also a, a, a quite a popular hypnotist around um, around Canada. And here you go. It's, plus, anyways, if you want to check on it, the well, you know one of the books I wrote is here. There's different stuff on it. You can check it out at your leisure. But this is why we're here today. This is Sunny's Music Studio at the SunnySideMusic.com. Music lessons in Toronto and Montreal live. Some of the places I went to school, some of the awards that I won. And um, this is it. This is where you go to get the flute lessons and little, some little tips. And that's the action. And that's the action. I hope everyone I hope everyone had a lot of fun today. I had a lot of fun. Remember, you play music. It's supposed to be fun, so don't stress it out. <laughs> okay? Practice it because you want to practice it. Just take your time. You know, practice slowly like we did today. We practice slowly. At the beginning, it's all about muscles. You have to get your face muscles strong. Get your shoulders strong, your back strong. And then you just play and have a lot of fun. Remember to invite your friends. You know, there are a bunch of videos here that I'm making for you guys. So, um, you know, it's so... Play along with the play along with the band, <laughs> and that's play along with the band. Invite your friends, play along with the band, subscribe to the channel, uh, donate to the channel, and most of all, have a lot of fun. And that's the action. Once again, today we played Sound Innovations, number one to number ten in the flute book. And that's the action from the SunnySide.net, from Sunny's Music Studio at the SunnySideMusic.com. I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best. It was a super beautiful day, and I'll see you guys soon.